Perhaps we can bring these two animals back to Vanaheim. Or Midgard, even. Specky and Svana could use the company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. <laughs> Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. Old. We will finish later. Ah, another of Kavasir's poems. What is that? A phantom! Oh. magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell, look at oh. that thing! Attack the springs! Hurry! The Lord recovers! 
Well, yet another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. It's nothing, brother. Just... You ever have those moments where you wish you could... go back? Rewrite your own past. Make different decisions. Journey through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, uh, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. Well, the massive door we found earlier. That door required two keys. Aye, so it did. Let's keep looking then. <laughs> now, if we could get back to the story of Hrimthur, the stonemason's son. I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. Let this wait. Stay alert. Have an interest in botanicals now? This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. <clears throat> the mayor, I never asked how it felt to lose your ah! head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. 
Shame. Do you regret it, Lemire? Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? Do I regret exchanging my life for my freedom? That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. The second key. Sure enough. It's been a bit since we've unlocked the mysterious door. Excited, brother? Mm. <laughs> Classic.
You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again, find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Now, if we could get back to the story of Hrimthur, the stonemason's son. I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise. His name was Hrimthur. He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better, and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, blast it. I hoped it might have given us another way.
Something is coming, and it's not happy. Oh! A train! doing back there your guess is as good as mine imprisoning a drake can't decide whether to be impressed or horrified either way it is over now I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. Freya, I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freya was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh? But before my time. Do you tell? We believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the Flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost light. Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. 
And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyer believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by Light and Dark Elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him. Even if it meant having to rule. <laughs> Lovely crystal work and those elven gifts you found. I'll be happy to pay you for them. Can this lock be opened without damaging the book? The elves in Freya's camp wish to read it. Oh, a locked book, you say? How mysterious. And an elven lock. Intriguing. If your friends in Vanaheim want it, I'll get it open and pass it along with your regards. They're a lovely couple. Want something in particular? Hope it's to your liking. Kratos? Good fit. Whatever you need, I'll create. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. What can I make for you? Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. I'll disinfect my tools. Anything for Freya? 
What'll it be? Well, if you change your mind... We're heading back to Vanaheim. There are still a few loose ends to tie up. We could tell that wayward spirit we've cleansed the river of Sather. Lead the way. friends are at peace. Good. And... I'm sorry. Had I been here, I would have prevented this. Do you think us lost babes, incapable of making our own choices? No, but... We made a mistake. But it was ours to make. Not yours to prevent. Even if you had been here. I... Yes, you're right. Goodbye, Gunhild. Goodbye, my goddess. Kratos, thank you for taking the time to help my people. I helped no one. They were already dead. Oh, but you... Did. You put their spirits at ease, and that has eased my spirit as well. I feel lifted. Enjoy it. It will not last. You're right. There are most certainly other corrupted sisters out in the realms. You always know how to end on a cheery note, brother. Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once.
Creatures weren't always this ravenous. The Spirit. ecosystem. Freya, you returned. Astrid, what happened to you? To your garden? The angry are. My life's work rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until it returned to live forever amongst its putrescence. A just punishment. I will return, Astrid. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Why? The Earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. We have to destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. When my garden blooms, so will my soul. Another sleep and troll, courtesy of the dwarves. Like more armor for Lunda to fix up. The last of them. See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. Life returns to the garden. Good. garden still aches. There must be more poison somewhere. <laughs> the family crest of Henir. Poor man. Can you see if there's a way inside while you're up there? Anything illuminating?
It's finished. Let's return to Astrid. Your garden grows again. Freya, how did you... It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try. Hmm? Freya, you once survived a giant's corpse to uh, stop a certain fight we won't talk about. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, no. Well, there you go. This crest belonged to Odin. A peace offering from my people, and a waste of good work. Kratos, tell me of an adversary from your homeland. It will serve us well if I understand more of your battle tactics. Hmm. There was Medusa, queen of the Gorgons. Her gaze turned men to stone. A mirror would turn her own powers against her. Or, you may remove her head, but that is the hard way. Which did you choose? The hard way. Forget I asked.
Well, lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mimir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. Well, brother, before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? You will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to- Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? And you tell that one-eyed nutsucker he owes me one! Fight me now and eternally! Well, looky there. Glad you could make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, I don't rightly know who's yelling at who in there, but I figure they... Atreus. Well, come on, then. Hey, Tyr! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You sure he won't mind? Mind? He'll be thrilled. Joint's getting classier by the Can't day. Be. I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frigg. Uh, don't call me that. I haven't been that person in a long time. But I'm happy to see you too. I feared the worst for so long. You must have been through. Nothing so bad as what you suffered. Pray. I am so, so sorry for what happened to Balder. He was only a boy when I saw him. Anyone. Not the too shabby you... having a proper goddess around the house. Try to stay on her good side this time, I why don't you? From my days of diplomacy. If I did, at least I'd be somewhere I could make a difference. Now that is crazy talk. That is the craziest of all possible talk. Why? I truly thought we'd seen the last of Tyr. Perhaps there really is cause for hope. If I had more answers, I could prevent... What? What is this about? It doesn't matter. Just let it go, okay? But you are gone. You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life. You are my son. Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if mom did. It is not fine. Her secrets haunt every step of this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. 
Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? You get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me! Listen! Let go! Let go. What the fuck? Atreus! It's Sindri. Just, just, just try to keep control. Uh. You're just helping me stay warm. <laughs> Gotta find some shelter. These things! When did it get so bad out here? <laughs> 